Hello, Sycamore Junior High. Welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Krish. And hello, I'm Henry. Over to Kendall for our date. Hello, I'm Annabelle. I'm Delaney. And this, this is Kendall. Kendall. And we're here with your date. Today is Tuesday, April 2nd. Soar Sycamore with PBIS expectations. Be respectful, be responsible, be safe, and be a creative problem solver. Now it's time to be PBIS respectful and stand with our fellow aviators as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all and please be seated. Happy Terrific Tuesday and happy National Assistant Principal Week to Mr. Cole and Mr. Meyer for all they do to make our school an awesome place to be. Please take a moment this week to give them a high five and express your sincere appreciation for the outstanding work they do to ensure the success for every one of us here at Sycamore Junior High. Thank you, Mr. Cole and Mr. Meyer. Okay, what do we have for clubs and activities announcements today? Sycamore High School football sideline and competition squad tryouts are coming up. Tryout clinics will be held on April 15th through the 17th, with tryouts on April 18th. If you're interested in trying out, plan on attending the informational meeting today during Flexbell in the Junior High Auxiliary Gym. Flight crew will reconvene on April 15th. No school on April 8th. Running club. Running club starts this Wednesday, April 3rd. See you there. Football? What? Yes, there's a high school football meeting. When? This Thursday, April 4th, during Flexbell. Uh, with who? Uh, any 8th graders interested in playing football at the high school next year. And where? In the auxiliary gym. Girl soccer. Any 7th grade girl interested in playing soccer next year, please plan to attend a meeting on Friday, April 5th in Mr. Hiles' room during Flexbell. If you cannot attend... If you cannot make the meeting, please email Mr. Heil if you are interested. Every year, Sycamore Junior High School students are invited to enter the Mikey Jurup Poetry Contest. This contest honors the memory of former teacher Mikey Jurup, who passed away from cancer many years ago. Poems entered in this contest should honor her positive spirit. The theme should be uplifting and inspiring. For more information about the contest, please join the Mikey Jurup Google Classroom. The code is G-S-G-M-L-Z-U. Deadline for the contest is Friday, April 26th. Be informed. Check your emails every day. Be responsible, young adults, and make this a great place to be. Mark, Mark your, your calendars. calendars! April 8th is a professional development day, so no school for students. April 10th through 11th is air testing for English language arts. Flight crew will reconvene on April 15th. April 16th and 17th is air testing for math. April 18th, we will celebrate April as Autis Autism Awareness Month. Everyone wear blue to recognize those working with autism challenges. April 22nd is another professional learning day, so no school for students again. Yes, I love breaks. And April 24th is air testing for science, and that is only for 8th graders. Next, Next up... up Birthdays. Birthdays! Happy birthday to students celebrating today, Charlie P. And happy birthday to staff member, Miss Huffman. Have a wonderful birthday celebrating with friends and family. Next, Next up, up. I am excited to be here to tell you that you were uh, recognized as the teacher of the year for the entire district. <laughs> from students, and I know I want you to hear some of these things that, that the students said about you. Um, Mrs. Darvishire has helped me overcome so many things, and she has always helped me. When I need someone, she makes her class a fun experience and always takes time for her students. That's why I nominated Mrs. Darvishire. That was from Bryce. <laughs> Next, students said, Mrs. Darvishire is a great teacher. She is so friendly and inspirational. I really look up to her. She inspires me to be a better person and to work hard in my classes. She encourages us to look back at our history and learn about how important it is. I think she should be nominated because she doesn't get thanked enough for being an amazing teacher. That was from Izzy. 
And then another student, Mrs. Darbyshire is my favorite teacher because she cares so much about her students and not only teaches us really well, but finds fun activities or ways to make the class fun. And if she needs, if someone, if she sees someone who needs help or is confused or struggling, she always reaches out to help. You can tell she puts a lot of time and dedication into her class when I'm older and I look back at seventh grade, I will always think of her. That was Eliza. And then probably a, a very special one. Another student said, Mrs. Darbyshire is the reason I'm here today. She, <clears throat> she's a trustable adult with many attributes that can be seen in and out of the classroom. I chose her because she helps me all the time when I struggle. I see her with all the other kids who are in need of help. She is an easy person to talk to. I always see kids coming into our room after school to talk to her just because she's a nice person. There have been many that I can talk about and have seen um, to come to her for advice and life lessons because she's a very reachable and understanding teacher and person. For this reason, I have chosen Mrs. Darbyshire or Mom as an <laughs> <laughs> and then not to, not to leave the staff member out, you get a nomination from also a staff member that said, uh, Dana is an extremely welcoming to me as a new teacher uh, into the district last year. Not only was she welcoming, uh, she provided the CPI training for all staff and was helpful with all new staff. Dana goes above and beyond to make her students feel welcome in her classroom. She continually challenges them through fun class assignments. She makes social studies fun and memorable playing clips from Hamilton or doing fun ed puzzles, as well as reading historic novels to the kids. She is always teaching the kids about relevant holidays as well as employment skills and overall just being a good human. She is constantly relating to students and keeping them engaged in lessons. Dana goes above and beyond for all students and makes sure all students feel included in her classroom. Uh, Dana builds relationships and rapport with students to make them feel welcome and comfortable. She is flexible, caring, and always has a smile on her face. So that was from Lindsay. So, so Mrs. Darbyshire, I have to tell you um, that all of these things couldn't be more true. Um, I have seen you with students, and especially as your kids have gotten older, watching the older students and how they approach you at games, at your house, out in the community, wherever it may be, they have a genuine love for you, and it's not just because of you teaching them social studies. I agree with what the students have said. You've taught them life lessons that will carry them forward, and I've heard you a number of times refer to some of the young men and women that are in your house as your other kids. Um, that's what makes you special, and that's what makes you a special educator. So um, thank you to Greg. I don't know how he kept it a secret because he's known about this for a few weeks. <laughs> Uh, trying to get all of your kids here and obviously your family members and loved ones here, but um, let's all give her a very loud round of applause. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> it's, it's not without all these people that I've learned from and um, that have guided me in my journey as a, as a teacher, but feel like I'm always learning and I'm always a student first probably and I do truly believe that history is fine but it's better to teach kids to be good citizens and um, be productive members of society and that's what I hope I do every single day. So, thank you. Next, the joke, joke of the, of the day. day. Random hand. Why did the robot eat a light bulb? Why? Because he was in need of a light snack. Beautiful. Here you go. Be the best extraordinary person you can be, Sycamore. Follow our PBIS expectations every day. Have a wonderful day, Sycamore, and... Go, Go Waves! Waves!